Hi, I'm Engineer Bill. Naturally, I did a previous video and I talked about this hydraulic pump for my steering mechanism on the boat and how I wasn't going to talk about it. But I ran into a little problem when I actually worked on it. And one is that there's a snap ring that goes right on it. And I use this tool to put the snap ring on and off. I've had this tool for a long time. Maybe I got it in my early 20s. And it's not a very good tool. It's kind of beat up. It doesn't hold its position very well. But it works well enough. Except for this time. I started to put the snap ring on. And ka -ching, The snap ring flew off in this direction. And I spent all kinds of time looking for the snap ring. I took stuff out over here, I pulled stuff out over here, looked all over here, pulled everything out over here. I could not find it. Now, that snap ring is only about a little more than one inch in diameter. And it's spring steel, I heard it clinking around here for a while. As far as I know, it could have rolled right off the doors. I had the doors up at the time and gone out in the street. I have no idea where it is. All right, so now what do I do? I have... Luckily, a detailed, detailed parts list, and it has the O-rings that I bought set, uh, as a kit, and it's got a snap ring and a number. The number is no good. This unit is old, and it's not manufactured anymore. It does have a part number on there, but this company doesn't sell that part. I have no idea what that part number is really refers to, I've looked up on the internet and I can reference it to a automobile or automotive part number. The, the problem is there's no dimensions for me to confirm that it's the right one for here. So this is what I customarily do. I take the measurements, what's the inside diameter of that groove where the snap ring goes in, and then how wide is it? And there's certain engineering knowledge you have to know what that groove is all about and how much room you actually have, especially given other things that go with it. But for the most part, that's all you need. Instead of looking for a part number, I look for part dimensions. Or I used to go to these books, get specific parts and specific dimensions. These books, like I used to, when I needed brass valves, I'd go to a company that had brass valves. In this case, Parker. If I needed seals, O-rings, you know, I'd go to a company that had specifications, not part numbers. I mean, you need part numbers to order it, but I wanted dimensions and specifications. That way, I can match what I need. Now, for the snap rings, I go to my old favorite, which is McMaster Car. Yeah, I have a book here. Uh, almost nobody will have books now. But it's got everything in there, and mostly it's got dimensions. By measuring and specifying my own part, that's how I was able to replace the snap ring. And I used McMaster Car for that. Now these here snap rings uh, part number it doesn't matter what part number it is it fits on here of course I had to buy five at a time but that's all it is and this I didn't buy it by part number I bought it by dimensions and that's what you should do too when you get in a fix like this now I've complained about this too many times and after losing this part and spending all kinds of time looking for it I've decided uh, I've got to do something with this tool I'll hang on to it because it, it's it's something I've had for a long time so I have two packages delivered a new snap ring tool so this thing is causing more problems. More rings have slipped off of this. It doesn't line up right. I want 
something new and something that's going to be much better than when I bought this. And hopefully these little tines will line up properly so that when I open this up, it still doesn't work very well, it doesn't even hang on. You see how that happened? Luckily I get four more. And this thing, I was going to put it back in the toolbox, but I'm putting it back in the, the garbage box. Alright, so the whole idea of this video is to encourage you not to worry so much about part numbers. Sometimes you can't trace down the right part number. Get to the dimensions order by dimensions. And that's my tip for today. Thanks a lot for watching.